Hello, you beautiful people. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your five senses work. Good. Still know it's a Star Wars and Star Trek thing around here. You must pledge your allegiance to the chief. <laughs> Sitting here messing around. Look, um, just found this article that I just found it. I found this article. It says here, uh, 343 to ditch Halo Master Chief Collection seasons after Halo Infinite comes out. It says here, 343, 343 plans to ditch Halo Master Chief Collection seasons after Halo Infinite comes out. It's, it signals season 8, which launches later this autumn, may prove to be Master Chief Emmett. Master Chief Collection's last season as 343 moves away from the game season model to focus on smaller updates that can land when they're ready based on development status and studio roadmap alignment hmm. and it says here 343 insisted these updates will continue to be free and will include the unreleased features and content from this year and it will make a continued effort to improve stability and tackle legacy fix fixes where possible. We still have a lot of goodness to deliver in 2022. 343 Publishing Team Lead Producer Michael Farns, uh, Far, Far, Farna, Farnai said in the post on Halo Waypoint. It does sounds like 343 is ready ready in MMC players for the perhaps inevitable managed decline of support with Halo Infinite set to kick off with its own season seasonal battle pass modes in December uh, uh, Far Fani acknowledged the impact of Halo Infinite on MMC ongoing support with Halo Infinite release now look for December 8th, it's safe to say the rem remainder of the year is going to be a wild one here at the studio, he said. While the M Master Chief Collection and Halo Infinite teams are generally separate entities, we do have overlap when it comes to shared areas like service, support, community, and more. To that end, it's important to us that we position Master Chief Collection's eighth season for success, but also help alleviate any conflict that could take away from the studio's focus on Halo Infinite launch. To that end, season eight release later this fall will be our last official Master Chief Collection update of this calendar year. Suffice it to say that we were going to finish the year on a high note with a jam-packed season that actually s swells in some regards as pieces once earmarked for later this year were, were pulled in to clear the landing zone for Halo Infinite. Halo that it, that means that they still they're, they're still gonna get um they're still gonna give the uh, Master Chief collection collection updates it's just going to be in like uh, small increments but anyway it says halo master chief collection originally released in november 2014 for the xbox one then on pc on from 2019 after a disastrous launch beset by technical problems 343 worked to fix the game and have supported it with significant updates via the popular seasonal model ever since 343 is working through the details of this change. Uh, Far Far Farney said, and we'll share those early next year. In the meantime, we're focused on finalizing season eight to ensure that we're, we give you an amazing release to cap off the year for Master Chief Collection. Meanwhile, 343 did talk about what's in development for Master Chief Beyond Season 8, this includes additional mod support for Halo Reach and Halo 4. And got, got about six comments here. 
set, you know, six comments. Um, says here, it is a good, so one, one reader said it's a good thing they focus their effort on infinite. Multiplayer is shaping up to be good. I hope th they do everything to keep it fresh and alive in the long run while staying true to its vi vision and not making a Fortnite and not making a Fortnite out of it. <laughs> so another reader says 343 moving away from games that have that have now been supported for literally decade isn't 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 a bad title either. I used to think Ubisoft were the one of the best when it come when it came to supporting existing games without additional purchase. But Microsoft has definitely taken that crown in recent year. Another reader, another reader said, sometimes I did like them to do in Master Chief Collection eventually would be to fold in Halo 5 partly so PC players can finally have it. And also, so all the pre-infinite games can be under one roof with one client and one install but I don't think that's even remotely on their list of priorities and, and the next next reader he says here they confirm a day or two ago it won't be happening sadly a response to the GeForce leak I believe I do agree though it feels a bit off leaving just one game missing from the collection but I am happy the rest made it in the first place to be honest despite Halo being on being on off the only first person shooter I can play just fine with a controller <laughs> and then the next person says here in 2021 and we we still can't cross play campaign with PC still I did rather they got campaign co-op sorted for infinite instead for now so people are not some people some people are not these are just halo fans really talking so they're not really ups you know they just, it's just mix mix mixed bags of feelings it says here one person says I suspect this means they're not going to fix the awful performance in Halo 2 campaign on egg on one X anytime soon hmm and last comment says here there one the reader said the, their latest blog post show they are planning a lot of things for Halo 2 so never say never they did a fantastic job with Halo uh, CE geometry and user interface update and that is that so these are just these are just fans of the game giving their thoughts and their opinions you know on um, on this latest announcement so you know, um, three four three is gonna um, is gonna uh, focus their attention on Halo Infinite since it's gonna be available for Xbox Xbox One and uh, Xbox Series X, and um, uh, they're gonna go from there. But they're gonna release they're gonna release like small small updates, you know, like but like but like in, in like in small increments, you know, in the, in the years to come. But right now they're just focusing on on Halo Infinite, try to try to like anticipate whatever problems come up, you know. So and that's the best thing to do. So I mean they've been supporting the game since it, since they've been supporting Halo Master Chief Collection since it came out, you know. And um, it's time to move on to Halo Infinite and and focus on and focus on Infinite, you know, because they got some they got some things they need to work on, especially Forge especially Forge mode. <laughs> got to work on that but other than that man um and plus they got to imp um, probably improve the multiplayer and then listen to player feedback and then try to make the changes from there but but this but this is just you know 343 you know keeping in touch with the, with the halo community to let them let them know what their uh what their next move uh, move is you know and halo infinite comes out what december the 8th so yeah Halo fans already. <laughs> we waiting. What? What? Uh, we're in. We're in. Uh, we're in September right now. We got another what? Oct 
October, November, another, what, another two months and some days to go. Oh, yeah. Halo fans are, are, are waiting right now. Some people probably paid for the game already digitally. <laughs> you know, people on Game Pass already paid for the game already. They're just waiting, so, yeah. Halo Infinite is going. Halo Infinite is going to be big, man. It's going to be big. And um, <clears throat> um, Halo came out. Halo came out on uh, the original Xbox, and Microsoft is still going strong. Now they're they're up to Halo Infinite. So um, yeah, um, you know, three four three is just um, you know just just moving right along. You know, you know um, they're, they're they're still gonna they still gonna release updates for. Uh, Halo Master Chief Collection, but it will be like, like in small increments, you know, and, and little patches here and there, you know, so yeah, but other than that, um, I'm going to keep you guys posted on the news on Halo, nice talking to you people again, Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing, or Dark Side, um, go, peace.